Okay. We gonna start performing an average uh, pre trip for New Mexico. So, New Mexico, they will give you a checklist like this. So, this is what I'm gonna be using. So, first, we're gonna shock the wheels, and the wheels are shocked already. So now we're gonna go inside the vehicle, we're gonna start with the air brakes test. The okay, first thing we need to do is adjust my seat. Okay. Make sure my safety belt is properly working. Latches and unlatches properly, no damage. Next, we're gonna perform a safe start to build up air pressure, to cut off air pressure from 110 to 120. At this time, we're gonna take the advantage and check in on my DEF light and my ABS light to make sure they're off. If they stay on, the ABS light is not working, the anti lock brake system is not working, and the DEF is not working properly. And I start my engine. Make sure it's in neutral. And I'm gonna build up the air pressure to cut off air pressure from 110 to 125 PSI. So I'm gonna wrap the engine. My air pressure is built up to cut off air pressure from 110 to 125 PSI. So next I'm going to turn my engine off and set the key to the on position. Now I'm going to release my parking brakes and my trailer brakes. I'm going to push them in. I'm going to wait for air pressure to stabilize. You know that the air pressure stabilizes when you see these two gauges stop when they're not moving anymore. <clears throat> Okay, they're stopped. Now I'm gonna stop, step on my service brakes. I'm gonna hold the service brakes down for one minute and it should not lose uh, more than four PSI within that one minute. So I'm gonna stop, step on it. If you notice, the gauges are gonna move just a little bit. So when they stop moving again, that's when we start the minute, about right there. Start.
The HS are not moving, it's holding pretty good. Ten more seconds. And time's up. Okay, they didn't lose more than uh, four PSI. It, at this point, if you notice that the gauges are moving a little bit more than four PSI, make sure you let know your examiner. Next, I'm gonna start finding my service brakes until my lower one in light and bastard come on. It should come on around 55 PSI or more. That's one light and second light, and did it come out with 455 PSI? Next, I'm gonna keep finding my service brakes until my parking brakes and my trailer brake valves pop out. They should pop out anywhere from 20 to 45 PSI. At this point, forget about my gauges. I need to pay attention to these two valves to make sure both of them pop out. Okay, the 12 one popped out and it popped out around 30 PSI. So it's working properly. Next, I'm gonna start my engine so to build up air pressure again. It's nice neutral. And I'm gonna build up air pressure anywhere from 85 to 100 PSI within 45 seconds at 1,000 to 1,200 RPMs. within 45 seconds that should be before the next light that's coming out right about there so it is working properly did it within uh, 20 seconds next we're gonna check our parking brakes so at this point I'm gonna put it in a low gear Okay, I'm gonna release my parking brakes. I'm gonna check my trailer brakes. So make sure my trailer parking brakes are properly working with the clutch only. Let's tag it. Wait, I did not remove my track. So make sure I remove my track before I do this. And I get out and remove my chucks before I do my tactics. Okay. 
So with my tracks removed, now I can do my tactics. So let's put her in a low gear. Okay, I'm gonna re release my parking brakes and I'm gonna check my trailer brakes. So with the clutch only, I'm gonna tag it, make sure my trailer brakes are properly holding. Okay, they are holding. I'm gonna set my parking brakes, release my trailer brakes. Now I'm gonna check my parking brakes on my tractor. Same thing, clutch only, release it slowly, and it is holding. Next, I'm gonna do my uh, surface brake check, so I'm gonna release both of them. I'm gonna go about five miles an hour, I'm gonna step on the service brakes and I'm looking for any movement on my steering wheel. Should it move to the right or to the left? And we're checking the speedometer at the same time. Five miles, clutch, brake, steering wheel didn't move to the right or to the left. So service brakes are properly working. I'm gonna back it up a little bit for safety. Okay, so my parking brakes. Okay. Next, we're gonna check the light indicator. So we're gonna check my left turn signals working, my right turn signals working, my running lights are properly working, and my high beams is properly working. And don't forget my forward flashers. Okay. Now I'm gonna check my emergency equipment. So make sure my fire extinguisher, which is, which is on this side of the seat, should be right here. So I have a 10 BC fire extinguisher, fully charged, up to date, and at least one core capacity. I should have my two reflective triangles on the back, which are right here. Make sure we have the three of them. And this truck is equipped with circuit breakers and fuses. So the fuses and circuit breakers should be on the black compartment right there. Okay. Next, I'm gonna check my windshield. Okay, my windshield is properly mounted and secure, not cracked or broken. Make sure there's no intersecting cracks, no legal stickers, and no signs of any leaks. I'm gonna check my power mirrors, make sure they're properly working and they are adjusted to my view. And I check my right side, so it should be properly working and adjusted to my view. Okay, next I'm gonna check my heater. So make sure my heater is properly working, which it is. I'm gonna check my defroster. and it is working, okay. Next, I'm gonna check my horns, so make sure my city horn is working and my air horn is working. Okay, now we're gonna uh, ask our examiner to get out so we can check the external light operation check. So, the examiner is gonna get out and he's gonna give me a thumbs up every time I check something on my bed, on my lights. Left signal, right signal, running lights, headlights, and clearance lights, high beam, okay, four-way flashers. Now it's gonna go to the rear, and we're gonna shade the rear tail lights. You can see them through the mirror. Left signal, right signal, four-way flashers, running lights, clearance lights, brake lights. Okay, now at this point, we're gonna turn the engine off and we're gonna get out and start inspecting the vehicle from the outside. Okay, next we're gonna start checking our lenses. So make sure my lenses are properly uh, mounted and secure. Make sure they're not cracked or broken. We check the functions already. So that if you notice, they're not damaged, they're no cracks, and they're clean. 
Okay, next I'm gonna look, I'll open my hood and start shaking my foot. proper method and secure my reservoir no leaks and make sure it is up to level so we uh, remove this cap and we have a gauge there so make sure it's secure and you see between the add and uh, the full mark if it is some we will put, so, should put some in there my cooling uh, reservoir should be proper method and secure not leaking make sure it's up to level make sure it is, uh, all hoses are in place and not leaking okay and I share our uh, dipstick, make sure this uh, oil, engine oil is up to level. So we take it out, clean it, put it back in there, take it out again, and make sure it's in between the ad and the full mark. If you need some, we have to put it in here. At this point, we're gonna check to make sure there's no puddles on the ground, no oil leaks, coolant leaks, or any diesel leaks. Okay, at this point, we're gonna check the air components. So everything that gives air, the air compressor, my air hoses, my brake chamber is properly mounted and secure, no abrasion, boil just cuts, no missing clamps, and no signs of any audible leaks. We're gonna start checking our steering components and make sure my drive shaft, my steering shaft is properly mounted secure, not cracked or broken. My uh, steering gearbox is mounted and secure with the hoses in place, not cracked or broken, no missing hardware, and no signs of any leaks, it's properly mounted and secure. My hitman arm, my drive link, my steering knuckle, my tie rod end connector, and my steering arm. These all are my steering components. Make sure they're mounted and secure, not cracked or broken, and make sure my three castle nuts and my cutter pins are in place. This is one, two, and the other one is behind over here, should be the third one. They're mounted and secure, and now missing cutter pins, no missing castle nuts. Okay, next I'm gonna start checking my steer tire. So my steer tire should be no less than 430 seconds on the steers. Air pressure gauge and make sure we check the air pressure from 100 to 110 psi. We're gonna check the rim from the outside and the inside. Make sure there's no dents, no cracks, no legal wells. I'm gonna check my lug nuts, the proper mounted and secure, non missing. No signs of rust from uh, between the lug nut and the rim, no shiny threads indicating that it's loose and are kind of poor. Okay, I'm gonna check my springs. So I'm gonna look for my leaf springs. Okay, my leaf springs in the front and the rear, properly mounted and secure, not cracked or broken, no missing hardware. My leaf springs, they're properly mounted and secure, front to rear, not cracked, broken, no chafing, and no illegal wells with my U-bolts and U-bolt mounts, properly mounted and secure, not missing. Can I check my brake hoses? Again, all hoses, that's my hose for the air compressor. This is my hose for the Air brake chamber, they're mounted and secure, no brakes on bulges or cuts. And make sure, make sure there's no signs of any audible leaks. Braking components, my brake chamber is mounted and secure, no audible leaks, no missing clamps, no dents or cracks. And in this case, we have uh, disc brakes. And make sure there's uh, not crack or broken. My digs, uh, my brake, brake pads, properly mounted and secure, no less than one fourth of an inch of thickness. In some other trucks, we have drums. In this case, we have brakes, uh, disc brakes or rotors. Okay, to the side of the trailer, we're gonna check lenses and reflectors. So we have a marker light here. So this is my left turn signal for wheel flasher and Rani that should be proper man secure, properly working, not crack or broken. And this is my left signal and my four wheel flasher and my Rani light that should have my right turn signal on the right. I should check for my reflective tape, especially on my trailer, all the way to the rear. Make sure it's securely mounted and not, uh, not missing, and it's clean, red and white in color. Uh, mounting devices, we're gonna start shaking our mirror. Make sure my mirror is properly mounted and secure. My mirror bracket, no missing clamps. Make sure it's securely mounted, not damaged. The light should be working. Make sure my mirror, my convex, and my west coast mirror is clean, not cracked or broken, with no illegal stickers. Can I check my battery box? My battery box should be properly mounted and secure. 
No signs of excessive corrosion indicating that you have a, le a leak and make sure all the cables are securely mounted. Okay, I'm gonna check my DEF fuel tanks, properly mounted and secure. It should have a strap holding it and make sure it has a seal in there and make sure it's securely mounted and no signs of leaks in the bottom. This is my fuel tank, properly mounted and secure with the chain in place, with the seal in place and it's securely mounted and there's no signs of any leaks in the bottom. Okay, right here in the back, we can see it better on my air tank. I mean, my fuel tank is properly mounted and secure with the straps around the fuel tank and no dense cracks or any illegal wells and no signs of any leaks. I'm gonna check my frame. This is my frame right here. So make sure I'm checking all the frame, uh, front and back. Make sure there's no cracks or illegal wells, not crack or broken, no, no missing hardware. Okay, I'm gonna check my air uh, components. I'm gonna start checking my dummy coupler. It's properly mounted and secure with the connections in place, no signs of any leaks. The red should be my, my emergency line, but the blue should be my service line. The green should be my electrical pigtail. Properly mounted and secure, not tangled, not touching the frame. And it's properly connected to the tractor and to the trailer. My pigtail, no exposed wires. My uh, glad hands are properly mounted and secured with the grammar seal in place and no signs of any audible leaks. Okay, I'm gonna start checking my feed wheel to make sure my feed wheel is properly mounted and secure. This is my apron, it's securely mounted, no dense cracks or legal wells. My skid plate properly mounted and secure, not crack or broken, no legal wells with my pin and my safety pin in place. We have one on this side and one in the other side. My feed wheel and my skid plate shouldn't be any gap in there and it is properly lubricated. My release handle is in the lock position all the way in, properly mounted and secure, not crack or broken. My platform, properly mounted and secure, not crack or broken, and no illegal wells. My mounting bolts, they're properly mounted and secure, no missing hardware, no missing bolts, no shining threads indicating that it's loose or any chafing around it. Okay, I'm gonna check my back from here i can see if we have a lacking lever over there or a lacking jaw in this case we have a lacking lever it is around the shank of the king pin my king pin is properly mounted and secure not crack or broken no illegal wells make sure that we have enough space from my landing gear to my frame of the trailer so make sure we have enough gear so we can make left and right turns properly we don't damage the landing gear or the map Okay, now I'm gonna check my landing gears. Properly mounted and secure, raised all the way up, no missing hardware, no crack or broken, no illegal wells. My crank handle is securely mounted. This is uh, where we pick up the landing gear all the way up. Okay, my reflector tape again, I'm gonna check it all the way to the rear. Make sure it's mounted and secure to be white and red in color on the sides and uh, clean, okay? Okay, so we check the frame, make sure the frame on the way back over here is mounted and secure. Every four rivets like this, we have uh, press members, no holes on the frame. Okay, and no dents or cracks or legal wells. So uh, markers, we have the marker light on the trailer. Since the left wing, no four-wheel flash or running light, I'm very colored, properly mounted and secure, properly working. I should have the right side on my right side. Okay, on my trailer, we can going check the hoses, make sure all the hoses look properly mounted and secure, no lower than 18 inches off the ground, no signs of any audible leaks. All the braking components, we can check them the same way that we check the ones in the front. We got the brake chamber and all the braking components securely mounted. Make sure my sliding rod is mounted and secure with the two pins in the lock position, my frame, no cracks, uh, broken or legal welds, no missing hardware. This there should be inspected the same way we inspect the ones in the front. The only difference is we have two 30 seconds on these tires. Same thing for the drive axle in the back of the tractor. Make sure there's no uh, debris between the tires and no illegal wells on the rims. The rims should be touching, but not the tires. No missing lockdown, same thing. Gonna come back, make sure all my reflective tape is all the way to the rear. 
we, here we have the ABS light should be off at all times. It's amber in color, properly mounted and secure, and it should be properly working. If it's on, the anti lab brake system is not working properly. This is my ID light, properly mounted, secure, properly working, red in color. <coughs> in the back, we're gonna check my doors, make sure everything looks properly mounted and secure. Hinges, no missing red bolts, not crack or broken. My cleaner that should be working already. We checked them already. My door latches, it should be in the lock position. Okay, my lenses in the rear, mounted and secure, already color, not cracked or broken, properly working. The only one that should be clear in color should be my license plate light, should be uh, clear in color. The DOT bumper should be properly mounted and secure, no lower than 24 inches off the ground. The DOT reflective tape should be red and white in the bottom, white on the corners on the top. And at this point, we conclude the pre-trip.